Hello again guys and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. Theodore and myself today uh, will be today discussing the topic uh, regarding parallax. We've uh, made some videos or episodes about parallax before which goes by the name of parallax adjustment range, fixed parallax, parallax setting and so on. And we will stay with this uh, term, uh, we will stay with this term in this particular episode. And uh, today we'll be discussing what is the parallax error. I know this is a more um, complicated term, but Theodore and I will uh, try, to un try to unravel the secret behind <laughs> this uh, unusual term. Well, we did quite a, quite a big number of videos associated with parallax, because parallax is such a big, big issue with rifleoscopes. And I would suggest all of you to check all other videos about parallax also so that with watching all our videos on this topic I think that the the issue will be clear at mm. the end and in today's video I will discuss what a parallax error is and I will try to explain all these issues associated with parallax error as simple as possible so I will simplify some things and I would really be thankful if those of you watching who are experts in this matter wouldn't um, critic me because or criticize me because I, I simplified a couple of things. I, I would like to make this video for the beginners so that they understand really easily what parallax error is. So what actually is adjusting the parallax or parallax setting in rifle scopes? <clears throat> I would like to I would like to com compare this with, with binoculars. With binoculars we know that we have a central knob which we turn around and we focus the target. We are watching the animal let's say at 500 meters and we are focusing the binoculars to get a really sharp image of the, of the animal. And with rifle scopes we have a target at a given distance and when we are adjusting the parallax we are actually focusing the target so that we get a sharp image of the target mm -hmm. and we are able to do this focusing either with an adjustable objective so that we rotate the ring around the objective bell this is really common or we have a side focus turret which we rotate so that we get a really sharp and clear image of the target <clears throat> and then we have a couple of other scopes which have like this scales a rotating ring around the elevation turret IOR has a rotating ring around the central tube or a little bit in front of the central tube and so on we have a couple of additional options how to how to adjust the parallax and we are actually focusing the target with the parallax but what the parallax error is is not only that the target is not in focus because when the target is in focus then we eliminated the parallax error mm -hmm. But because the rifle scopes, they all feature reticle. So when the target is out of focus, it's not only a problem that the target is not sharp enough, it's also a problem that if you move your eye outside of the optical axis, the reticle will move. And this will impact the accuracy of your shooting. So when you look through the scope, and when you go with an eye, up or down or left or right even if you go a little bit outside of the optical axis of the scope you still see the image but if the parallax is not set correctly so if we set the parallax let's say on 100 meters and the target is on 50 meters and when we will go with our eye outside of the optical axis left and right up or down we will see that the reticle moves even if the even if the scope is fixed so that it's in completely fixed position and this is the parallax error. So it means that each time when we shoot, if our, our eye is a little bit left from the optical axis, the reticle will move outside of the center, left or right, and then, of course, our accuracy will not be as good as we would hope for. Mm -hmm. And this is the parallax error. It means that the reticle moves because the target is not in focus. So it moves when you're moving your eye outside of the optical axis. And let's be honest, let, let's be honest, when you are shooting it's almost impossible to achieve a perfect collimation of the eye with an optical axis. So you're, you're always a little bit outside of the optical axis and you still 
if the if the eye box of the scope is good enough, you still see the image, you still see the reticle, and you're thinking that you are aiming correctly, but actually you don't because you have a parallax error because your reticle moves on the target. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> to eliminate the this error, you have to to set the parallax correctly. So how do you do it? You fix your scope and your rifle so that it's completely unmovable, completely fixed. And you look at the target, you try not to touch the rifle because so that you have a completely still position of the scope. And you put the reticle on the target. And then you're setting the parallax and the first thing is you try to get really the target in focus. That means that the image is really, really sharp. And when you think, okay, now the image is really, really sharp, then without touching the scope, you go a little bit up and down with the eye, a little bit left and right, and then you check if the reticle moves on the target or, or if it doesn't. If it doesn't move, if it's completely still on the target, that means that you eliminated the parallax error and you set the parallax correctly. If, however, it still moves a little bit, then you have to further adjust the parallax so that it doesn't move anymore. So the reticle is completely still when you're moving with your eye up and down, left and right, outside of the, well, outside of the mm -hmm. ideal optical axis of the scope. And with all the scopes which have an adjustable parallax, this is, you can do this. Mm -hmm. You can have a target on any given distance. If the distance is inside of the parallax adjustment range, you're able to set the parallax correctly so that you eliminate the target. The exception are the scopes with a fixed parallax setting. These scopes, they're made like, like you would set the parallax once on this scope and then you would fix the parallax on this setting and leave it. So usually they have a fixed parallax setting at 100 meters. European scopes, 100 yards for the American and Japanese scopes. And that means if your target is, let's say on 100 meters and you have a scope which has a parallax setting of 100 meters, that means you will have no error at 100 meters. If you look at the target 100 meters and go up and down with your eye, the, or left and right, the reticle will be completely still. It will be on the same spot on the target always. But if your target is, let's say, on 200 meters, or let's say on 35 meters, then you will get an error. And with target shooting, this is a problem. Because you will never be accurate enough. So for target shooting, either or tactical shooting, F-class shooting, bench rest shooting, for all shooting, when you shoot on paper and where accuracy is of most uh, higher importance because if you're competing, you need really tight group and uh, mm. you need all the hits in the, in the center of the target, there you will have a problem if the scope doesn't have a parallax setting and you will experience parallax error if the target is not on the on the correct so distance. there is basically there is basically no way to eliminate the parallax error with the fixed uh, rifle scopes with fixed uh, it is you just parallax. set the target at 100 meters <laughs> you <laughs> set the target inside <laughs> of the where the parallax setting is on the on this yes. fixed parallax uh, but if you shoot at 150 200 300 you meters, always have a little bit of parallax error. error this is the reason why fixed parallax scopes are usually meant for hunting uh -huh. Because if you have a two centimeter error, parallax error, that means that your group will get bigger. Yes. Because first shot you will be a little bit with your eye a little bit to the left, with the second shot you will be a little bit to the right and so on. So your group goes a little bit apart. So you have a bigger group because of the parallax error. Uh -huh. And for hunting this is not a problem. Because if you have a group of let's say six centimeters instead of two centimeters at 300 meters, for hunting it's good enough. For target shooting, it's not good enough. So for target shooting, you need a scope with adjustable parallax so that you eliminate the parallax error and to get a really, really tight group. Okay. Uh, we can see that Theodore has confronted us with a problem, but also uh, represented us with a solution, I would yeah. say. Uh, but still, if uh, there, are still some, um, there are still some problems we, you would like to know regarding this matter, you can still write us an email and we can perhaps elaborate a bit more specifically uh, mm -hmm. regarding this topic. However, if not, please don't, don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment below. Take care Thank until you. next time.